Hi everyone and welcome to another Let's Build video. This one is going to be a wedding venue. Now I wanted this wedding venue to look a little bit more modern but I don't know, I didn't want it to look too modern I guess. Um, but right now we are just getting the base of the building built and I'm just trying to figure out where things are going to go and that sort of thing and I do decide to put in some stairs because I kind of want to have like little tunnel things almost or I don't know, little, a little bit upstairs where you could cross over to the uh, other building. So that one at the back there, or well at the front just now, yeah at the back now, <laughs> is actually going to be like the um, night time after the wedding, you know where you go, with, go for your meal, for a little dance, that type of thing. The bit at the front is just going to be like your wedding arch and stuff like that in there. Now I went for kind of sky blue because I really wanted for this uh, uh, for this wedding uh, wedding lot to kind of be open and you could so you could see the sky and like at night time while you are all having your dance and whatever or just while you're getting married you could look up and see the sky uh, so I kind of made like little skylight things I know that it's not actual roofs but I figured it'd be fine considering there's no weather um, once there's maybe a weather expansion pack, you might need to switch these out for roofs. But for now, I thought like the little clear bit that you can see through could just be glass or something. Um, and it's made just like a little skylight. So this is me making the main skylight over where the wedding arch is going to be. Uh, so like just have the sky shining on down on them. I thought it would be really nice. Then I do try to mess around with some roofs and I do eventually decide that it does look a little bit weird. Um, and now this bit here, the actual skylight, it did kind of, it wasn't exactly where I wanted it to be, but I don't know why, it's probably just to do with like the shadow and the way that the sun's shining down or whatever, but I do go ahead and just leave that eventually. Um, and I do actually take out the entire roof here and just make the entire building a, um, a skylight, but right now I am messing about with the roofs, I'm trying to get that to work because that's before I decide to just, you know, just leave it and <laughs> make it all skylights. Um, as you can see, the roof is not working for me at all. So yeah, I do give up <laughs> fairly soon, I think, hopefully, yeah. This is me giving up and just being like, you know what, let's just screw it and make the entire roof a skylight. So like, everybody could just look up in this building and see the sky. And depending on the time of your wedding, it could look really, really nice. Even if it was raining or something and you had like a skylight above you getting married, I think that would be really quite cool. I don't know, and just the noise of the raindrops hitting the glass, I don't know, I, I think it would be kind of nice. Maybe it's just me, but yeah, um, I am about to go ahead and put in some windows now. I do just want it to be really light and airy. I don't know, I just liked that idea. Um, here I'm just putting a roof on this side of the building, um, which is obviously the side where you would go at night time for your meal and things. I was going to do like little skylights over the entire building, but I did decide against that. And yeah, this is me just trying to get it to kind of the right height. And I do actually go with that height there. And we are just putting, yeah, I couldn't, <laughs> I was going to put a skylight at this part too. And then I just kind of thought it looks kind of weird. I don't know why, but, it, and it also just, it just wasn't working. <laughs> but I take that out in a second and I will put in, um, you know, a normal uh, roof. It does take away a couple windows but it is fine. And I don't actually go with this one, I go with another one which you're about to see. Yep, because it's got the bits at the side so I thought it kind of looked better. Um, yep, I don't think, did I go with that one? Maybe I do, yeah, whatever, I go with that one. <laughs> And up on the top, I kind of want it to be like stone, and then on the bottom, I wanted like um, the um, panels because I thought it kind of fitted the neighborhood more that way. 
um, looking at the houses around where it's placed. It is placed opposite the golf household on that little lot if you guys want to place it. You can also follow me on um, Origin um, or The Sims 4 Gallery or whatever. It's uh, Sophie-X. Um, I will leave a little thing at the end of this video and it will be down in the description so you guys can go ahead and follow me on there. Now this is where I decide I want to have like trees and stuff kind of in between the two. That way looking out the windows that I'm about to put in the now. Um, when you're getting married you just see all this greenery and I don't know I just thought it would be really nice. Um, but right now we're messing about with doors and stuff and I couldn't decide if I wanted like a traditional kind of door or a glass one. I do go with something a little bit more traditional I guess and I'm just putting in some more windows here. Um, I do take out the two middle columns in a second because I realised that it doesn't really work well. And then I do have to put a wall in to get the little bit at the top there if you guys can see that. Um, I thought that looked really cute so I felt like I really wanted to do that. Um, I, I kind of loved the way it turned out actually. Um, <laughs> for someone who generally isn't very good at building, I'm pretty proud of this, I don't know. Um, I hope you guys like it. <laughs> Probably a load of comments saying, oh my god it's so rubbish, but I like the way it turned out. I did kind of want the trees to come up and around the top, but I do finally decide I don't like that. But and then I did mess about with some uh, hedging on the sides there and I do go against that as well. <laughs> I actually I mess about with quite a lot of things uh, during this build but um, yeah that's me messing about with more hedging besides I don't like it and I just kind of go for some flowers and stuff at the back and some little bushes and other shrubs and whatever. Um, and then I put in some uh, terrain paint to make it look a little bit more flowery. I just thought this would be kind of a nice thing to look out to um, when the wedding arch is placed. See, as you can see, I'm uh, debating whether to have those trees or not. And then I do go with smaller ones or bigger ones and I just, I do go back to that eventually. Now we're just putting in the stairs at the front here for our way up and that's what I go with then. Just our little foundation. So we're just sorting that out. Yep. And then uh, there is actually the mailbox. I think maybe if you're actually in the lot you can maybe object delete it but I couldn't object delete it. So but maybe when you're in game you could. Uh, I'm just putting like a little um, fountain or whatever they're called or just water around the outside of the building because I kind of like the way that that looks and now I'm just messing about with hedges which I do decide I don't like and then I'll try these little hedges which again I decide I don't like and the little elephants because I love those dang elephants but yep I do decide I don't like that and I do put like little I don't know if they're like little rose bushes or what they are but I actually really like them so kind of went with them and then the elephants at the sides. I don't know, I just really like the elephants, I guess. Um, and now we're just gonna put in some uh, stuff around the side of the little fountain. And now we're just messing about with, um, yeah, terrain paints here. So we're just kind of putting them on there to make it look a little bit nicer. And then I decide I don't really like the way that that panel looks, so I do change it and we do just need to extend that back a tiny bit and then we're just doing the inside i couldn't decide if i wanted it to look dark or light and i do go with the sky blue eventually <laughs> um yep and then for flooring i couldn't decide if i want a darker light again and we do kind of go with a darker one then I do realise these trees are going through so then that's when I decide you know what <laughs> I do mess about with them for a bit and then I just decide you know what screw it and I end up deleting them yep and that's kind of what it looks like from the outside and now we're putting some fencing around the little fountain or I don't want to call it fountain I don't know what you would call it but yeah that's what I do and then I also put in a few benches so that people can sit at them if they so desire and then we're messing about with some lights now I could not decide what lights I liked but we do end up just going for those 
and then we what are we doing now oh I did want to put a fence like around the entire thing but it wouldn't let me so I do go with these little hedges and I pop it all the way around um yeah I do struggle with a little gap but but I do think I managed to get it sorted <laughs> and then yeah we're still going around with them I think next the thing we'll do is what is it again hmm oh yeah I am trying to get rid of this stupid mailbox but it wouldn't go anywhere so I just kind of move it and then I type in test and treats enabled um I think I'm doing that yeah but then I remember I can't do the object delete thing until I'm live in game. So um, if that is still there when you guys are in game or if you decide to download it or it's still there, then you could probably delete it that way. Um, yep, now we're just putting in some wallpapers and I do realize I haven't put a wall there. So I do go ahead and fix it. I know it kind of wrecks the... Uh, Thing for going up the stairs to the railing but yeah I'm just popping in some lights and I think that's pretty much all I do in this part and then in the next part I will furnish it but I hope you all like this a lot and I will speak to you all soon bye everyone